Hello everyone and welcome back to Prodigal Overland. My name is Brad. If you're new here, welcome. In this video, we have a really cool experience that we got going on. We got invited to come out and test some brand new Lexus. We are out in the Uari, North Carolina area and we will be testing the GX 550, the new one. So this video is all about that um, and about these vehicles right back here. Joining me today is Benjamin. Benjamin is fairly new to our first time on like camera really i think, yeah, I think so. first time on camera on purpose anyway yeah on purpose benjamin is coming on to help do meals on our events so he is a private chef um and you've got like there's michelin tire situations or something like what is no got... no five star five diamonds okay yeah, we've worked in nice restaurants but... so he's worked in very nice restaurants so when we say like cooking and prepping on meals like it's not just like burgers and dogs not no. just burgers and hot dogs, no. no we did lots of other stuff that i had to look up and people had to look up on the event but it was everything was good people were a little like mm, in the beginning of our colorado trip but once they realized that he was cooking we heard a lot of if ben's cooking i'm eating so he's along he's gonna help today and just kind of um we'll both get to do and see what these things are about yeah anything else bad no nothing yes. more not anymore sure. all right all right, guys, quick little walk around. Again, this is the Le Lexus GX 550, body on frame. We got a locking differential, uh, locking, locking rear, locking center, independent front suspension, I believe. Yes, a rear solid axle. Lots of goodies inside. We're gonna be driving these around later and we will play with the goodies. There's a massage chair in there. we already kind of noticed this when we were sitting in, but they played with kind of the view up front. So you have good visibility. Um, they were just talking about how they raised, raised that up so you can see your corners, which we've definitely been in vehicles with a hood that was kind of domed. Um, and it's tough to see where you're front end. So they paid special attention to that. They're talking about how they raised their lights, made them stronger, lowered, um, pushed, pushed the A pillar back to give more visibility lowered your body lines here so that you have more side visibility. Lexus did a great job on this event having people out that with different rigs and and part of this event what they were trying to do is get feedback and comparisons to uh, the GX 550 as compared to what we were currently driving. So coming from a kind of a predominantly Grand Cherokee and now Gladiator background it was really interesting to make some of those comparisons. So this was obviously a private event in a private kind of off-road park area and the trails were pre-scouted. So it was definitely a curated ride. We were able to do more difficult trails than I originally thought we were going to, but it was also very clear that there was like, they were trying very hard not to have these vehicles take any bumps Apparently or bruises. That being said, we were able to see them pull a tire. We were able to see them really flex. Coming up here, you're gonna see a vehicle just kind of lift a tire. And, and, and also we get to see kind of the, the traction control system and the Lexus kick in. There we go. Yeah, all right. The terrain management system or A-Track system on the Lexus, I would say kicks in a little bit quicker um, than it does on the G platform. You also don't feel like you have to really rev the engine to get power to shift. It's more like you just kind of hang on the throttle where you're at a little bit more and just give it time to kind of sort things out. Whereas with the, certainly the, the Grand Cherokee and the WK2 platform, you really have to kind of increase your throttle to get power to shift. Oh, we're going. We have a... He's off. We're going. We're going. All right, first moving in the the Lexus. Lexus. What do we think? Uh, I think I don't know where any of the buttons are yet. <laughs> they did tell us. They did warn us, but I forgot. We just hopped in. I guess we should have been pre-sitting. <laughs> if you were to go out and buy a Jeep Grand Cherokee Trailhawk um, and equip it about the same, you're right around 72000 These models um, were the overtrail models. We actually had the upscale overtrail, but if you just want overtrail model, threw them some rock rails on the GX 550. Again, 
you're right at that 72,000. Now, they're not exactly the same, but they're both luxury versions of an off-road vehicle SUV style. Is this the view? This is the view. This is the view. We've been hearing all about this. Oh, see when I see how it tells me where our wheels are. Oh. And the sides looks like maybe there's this view. Whoa. That's kind of funky. Oh, it changed. Oh. It's the transparent car view. It's looking oh, underneath it. Oh, and underneath. You can see underneath your vehicle. <laughs> and where your fake tires are. Right? You leave a couple car lengths in between each truck going up the hill. That way, if we have to do any backing up or anything like that, it's not too, too much brain damage. It gave the car an invisibility cloak. It did. <laughs> All right, look at this. It's a refrigerator. Mini bottles. Yeah, hood. Yeah, it's definitely. I mean, so it seems like it's wider than the Gladiator. The camera is a nice offset for sure. I, I do appreciate that the hood scoop in the front, like that is worthwhile. What about this? Uh, the lowered sides as well. They are yeah, higher in the back. I haven't looked, but yeah. Than in the front. Yeah. That was one of our talking points we were given. Yeah. And then apparently the FJ style mirrors. All right. This is. With no lockers? No lockers. No, we're, we are in rock mode. But I haven't... We didn't... In the in the Gladiator, there would be no need for any of this to hit lockers. So, just see without anything. If there's any slippage or any of that stuff. Cool, so here's where we should... Where's our view? View? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Let's see it. This should put us up on... Wheels? Yeah, or the bank. Yeah. Can you see it coming up? Not bad. There it's. Oh. So I think it did. It figured it out. Yeah. There we go. No lockers. But yeah, definitely a little, a little doing its thing. The Lexus GX550 has features in it that I've never seen in a vehicle before. For instance, the front massage chairs. So not only does it have heated and ventilated seats all the way up, you have massage chairs in the Overtrail Plus version um, where you can really dial in the intensity and where you want it to, to go, um, which is, you know, maybe a nice feature if you're in a long car ride and, and just getting a little stiff. What does centrifugal do? Is that circles? Centrif centrifugal. Oh, looks like it should be okay. changing intensity based on the lights. So now it's a little, oh, it's like a little more circly. A little more circly. Circle, like, like, you know, a little rotational. Ah, yes, yes. The first one was like, it just felt like a line coming up. Okay. So then it's centrifugal. Oh, that's, that's good there. It's like a medium grade pressure. Like, oh, oh. it's not bad. It's not like... A, you can tell it's doing something like a, yeah. it's not like a professional massage but like it's doing stuff you know i like it we also just found there is wireless charging wireless charging for only one phone the gx 550 overtrail version has 8.9 inches of ground clearance which puts it a full two inches less than the jeep grand cherokee 4xe at 10.9 inches Things that impressed me the most about the GX550, um, number one is just room inside and, and just how the interior is finished out. It feels like a luxury vehicle. There's a lot of great visibility. The ride comfort in this vehicle was amazing, especially when you consider we weren't aired down. Um, we also didn't air down our Gladiator tires. There was no comparison there in the ride, but even thinking to uh, the Jeep Grand Cherokee platform, there's just so much refinement in the suspension you feel the bumps but they don't shake you they don't jostle you another thing i was really impressed with about the gx 550 was how well it handled comparative to its size it's it's definitely bigger than like a jeep grand cherokee but you really don't feel that size when you're on the trails i, I thought it handled very well uh, it was easy to take turns. We had some tight turns here. We didn't have, didn't have any issues making them. I was just really impressed with how well it handled comparative to its size. As far as space in the rear, Benjamin's six foot one. Uh, the front driver's seat in this scenario is 
pretty far back. Um, it would actually be too far back, the front seat, for me to actually drive comfortably. So I would, you know, I'm six foot, I would move that front seat up. Um, so plenty of leg room there. Um, again, just well thought out, lots of room in this vehicle. So what are some things that we would have liked to see maybe a little bit different? Um, one of them from an off-road perspective is just how low that front bumper hangs. To me, it looks like it'd be an easy thing to just hit and take off and, and break. Um, the Grand Cherokee Trailhawk, at least the WK2 model, the lower section you can just take off and remove. That would be a nice feature to see incorporated into the Overtrail version. Another thing I would love to see is the avail availability to kind of put a two inch lift on this thing. Um, if you got it up just a little bit more and get you closer to that 11 inches of ground clearance, I think this would be a really capable off-roader for this segment. If, you, if you've got the kind of money where you're in that, you know, $70,000 uh, price point, it is a very luxurious vehicle who would be just a great daily driver, um, but also can handle some pretty stout off-road trails. So I think for 89% of the people, like if, if, if what you wanna do is have a comfortable ride, but also have the ability on the weekends maybe to get the family out on some forest roads or some light off-roading, this vehicle is gonna be more than capable. Um, and even the driving we did in this vehicle, I didn't, I didn't even begin to feel like we were testing really the capabilities of the four by four platform. Like I said, to me, give it a two inch lift, maybe some bigger tires, and I think you're, you've are you got a very comfortable ride that can handle a lot of aggressive trails. Guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. We will see you guys again real soon.